Hello. Hi. I'm joined here by Matthias Rietig of OSC. Good morning, sir. Perhaps you could just explain a little bit okay. to our viewers about your role at OSC and, and, and what you're doing at this show. Well, my role uh, is I'm senior advisor in terms of business development, foreign exchange, which means product development, marketing activities, promotion on a, on a global basis. And um, OSE, as many of you might know, as it says, is the mother market of Nikkei 2 to 5 Futures and Options. Uh, we're the largest Japanese derivatives exchange and um, growing quite quickly at this point in time as the retail layer is getting more um, exposure to derivatives in Japan. And, um, well, we try to uh, embrace this change and uh, facilitate it. Okay, and could you tell a little bit about the newest initiatives that you're bringing out now? You have some new initiatives, I understand. Yes, um, the bigger changes that are coming up is, is the introduction of uh, co-location services, which might be of interest to, to some, some, some of the people reading this. Um, and in addition to that, um, we, will, we expand our product suite immensely because we have recent uh, uh, regulatory changes in Japan that should enable us to um, offer a broader variety of asset classes on our exchange. And you're seeing a growth in the, and a potential for the trading of ETS in Japan. Yes. Can you explain a little bit about that? Um, ETFs are a fairly new product to many Japanese investors, but it's, it's gaining traction quite quickly. And um, e OSE is, is very actively uh, launching new ETFs on a probably weekly basis. Um, and, and at this point in time, we're the most actively, uh, the most active trading venue for ETFs in Japan, and we try to uh, further expand it. Okay, thank you. And one last question. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you could explain a little bit to our viewers what you're allowed to talk about in relation to the MI MOU you recently signed with the CME, mm -hmm. um, and a little bit about some of the Japanese products that are now going to be available for trading in the US and how that's going to be structured. Yeah. Well, one of the big candidates for this MOU to be, well, um, is, is the, 20, the realization of 24 hour trading for our Nikkei uh, 225 products, as we believe that we did not really unleash the full potential of this product yet. As you know, Japan is the second largest economy in the world and it's a great, uh, the second largest uh, cash, cap, cash market. So uh, we see a uh, huge potential for our products and um, this MOU is help, will help us to get mutual distribution capabilities and um, RTS will provide uh, access to both our market and to the CME. So um, for all of the, the users, um, please link into, link into trading our market. Fantastic, excellent. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thanks for your time.